here at Bloodstock 23. Uh, you guys are hitting the Jäger stage later on this afternoon? Yeah, right? yeah, five minutes to five on the Jäger stage today, yeah. Five to five, so you'll be the second last band? Something like that, something about right yeah. Yeah. Straight after Ugly Kid Joe. Straight after Ugly Kid Joe. So, I mean, that's, you, you, that's a good point, place to be. Absolutely. Yeah, we often hear people say that the foot of the Jäger stage is a small stage at Bloodstock, and it's, although the stage itself may be, your potential audience is... It's big. It was absolutely crammed yesterday. When the rain was coming down, everyone was like under the tent and absolutely jammed with the band in there. It was great. Yeah, have you been watching a few of the bands this weekend so far? Yeah, I've seen loads of really good stuff um, on all the stages actually. So the Sofa stage had some great bands. Um, we saw Takesis there yesterday. Um, yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah New, New Blood and Jaeger have had some really good bands. We saw Primer on the Jaeger stage yesterday. They're camping next to us. It's really good. Yeah, they're really earlier, good fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, seeing Mashoga yesterday was just mind blowingly good. Yeah. <laughs> So, what about yourself? Any any particular favourites out of the? Uh, I think I think uh, Takesis is definitely my highlight of the uh, band, but also I'm a big Kill Switch fan. So seeing that, them that on Friday, hell, it was it? brilliant. <laughs> uh, uh, and they're just hilarious as well. Like the the uh, banter with the crowd is just great. So the, the yeah. energy is just yeah, it's it's something else. I mean, I'm always in awe with his screaming. His screaming is just something else, honestly. Yeah. No, that, that, that's how you headline the set. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, how did you get onto the bill at Bloodstock? Did you beg? Did you submit? Did you? Yeah, get we 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 emailed. Um, well, our, our, our bass player who. Thank, bless him, organises everything. Um, he emailed, I think it was Simon, and said, this is who we are, this is what we do, this is what we're planning on putting out this year, kind of by the time Bloodstock rolls around later. Um, and they were like, yeah, great, Jaeger stage on the Sunday, off you go. Sweet. We're so lucky, honestly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it, was, it was ridiculous. We, we were um, getting somewhere kind of like before lockdown, and then like obviously lockdown happened, and it just... Exactly, yeah, it just completely ruined everything. And we kind of put that in the email as well. We were like, like, this is where we were. This is why like, we've not done anything for two years. And this is what we're doing now. And he was like, this sounds mint. Yeah. Stage. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what, so, what's your sound? Where, where, where would you pigeonhole yourselves if you had to? So, we, we often use the label power metal because that's the kind of uh, most prominent element of our sound, I'd say. Particularly on the first album, No Place Like Home, came out in 2018, available everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, the new, uh, the newer stuff has a lot, has a lot more, um, a lot more diff different elements going. There's, there's some heavier stuff. There's some like dance music, musicier stuff that we're doing now. Um, still, still with you know ma massive, massive melodic metal hooks.